So now we are at this position, uh, one and one. I say, watch this, toss. I give a bumping gesture with my fist, boom, boom, like it's reactive, and then boom, one coin goes across, and they see that. Okay, and we do a one one. Now, and at this point, as you would guess, this is the point where we would do the Hang Ping Chin style stuff. Insert Jay Sankey's revolutionary coin magic as well for his thoughts on it. Um, but it just, I, I can never feel like I got it right. Even when, you know, the idea is you have this coin in heel clip, you want to get into heel clip, okay? And have it ready. This is the most ideal in my opinion. I know there's one people who argue the pinky, but for certain cases I get it, but just for most cases, just heel clip is great. It's so easy to get into. Um, you just literally can have it right here and then be in a second clipped and ready, ready for this coin to fall out, which is great. And then just, it's hard to sell for me. It just looks like there could be something tricky. So I actually decided to combine it with a specific motion that gives it this naturalness. And you saw the performance, and I was so amazed. I watched on replay over and over and over again, and I could not tell. It, it's invisible. It was so great. People think something happened, but no one could actually verify it. It happened so fast. I was like, wow, that's so cool. And so it happens with the two actions of the pencil vanish. Okay. And then and for coin vanishes, it will look like that. First finger and thumb goes with three fingers. Okay. As it gets shaded by the hand, the hand closes as it turns, vanish. So combining that action with, um, let me get this back in the heel clip. Okay, now combining this action with the drop off of the heel clip, it looks like it's a direct action, and if we can justify it with whatever presentation for it to go back on the table, you do have to justify it. It just makes no sense why you would just toss it. Anyways, we uh, as we do the drop, we do the pencil vanish, and we turn up the coin, and again, slow motion, boom, and then boom. Looks terrible in slow motion, but in fast motion, it looks fair. I can't even tell. <laughs> and it looks so fair that no one would judge you for it. And I'm doing this in real time. This is not a camera trick. It's how it looks. It looks so great. Boom. And this is, I think, how ultimately Hank Ping Chin is. It's so direct. People, I'm burning my own moves and I can't even tell. It looks so great. And so that's what it looks like. Just finger, uh, pencil, vanish, and continuing the motion to here. And you see the move the coin moving, coin glinting every time we do this, which is so cool. Coin glints, so coin glints, and then uh, let, just drop it off with the heel thing. And it feels so much less tenacious than having to actually do a finger palm and try to time in all this stuff. This Just toss it and you just naturally want to drop it, naturally be part of the action. So that is cool. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited about this.